how to use scheduled transfers on WISE. Scheduled transfers are transfers you'd like to send out at a later date of your choice. How to make a scheduled transfer? You can set up the manage um, transfers on the web and the WISE app. Firstly, select send money, confirm where you are sending from, enter the amount you'd like to send, select the calendar icon next to continue to schedule your transfer, choose the date you'd like us to send your money, choose the frequently, one time, monthly, be weekly or weekly, and select confirm. We remind you to make sure you have enough money in your balance or bank account for your transfer before your scheduled date. So turn on notifications for updates about your transfer. You can check the status or cancel your scheduled transfer by going to manage and then schedule transfers on the website or app. Also quick tips, you can set up a scheduled transfer which will be funded from your wise balance. If you don't hold a balance in the currency you are planning to send money from, we'll open one for you. You'll have to transfer money to this balance first before we send it to your recipient. If your transfer is time sensitive and you're paying from your wise balance, we recommend scheduling at least three days in advance. This is because the date selected will be when the transfer gets sent out, not necessarily when your recipient will receive the money. If you are live living in Singapore, you can only schedule transfers below 5000 of local currency and up to like um, 30,000 a year with your personal wise account. So you can also pay directly uh, from debit card from USD or Canadian dollars. You can find information right up here. Just simply pause video and read. Can you edit a scheduled transfer? We can't can change the details of a scheduled transfer. If you need to make changes, please cancel the transfer and set up new one with the correct details. Uh, what happens uh, to my transfer on the scheduled date? If your scheduled transfer is sent directly from your balance, the scheduled date of your transfer is the day we send money to your recipient, not the day they received it. Your recipient should get the money within three working days from the scheduled date. If your scheduled transfer is sent from your external bank account, the scheduled date of your transfer is the day we pull money from your account, not the day your recipient receives it. It usually takes one to four working days for your money to reach us, and then we can send it to the recipient. If your transfer is scheduled for a holiday or non-working days, it depends on the payment methods and the account you are sending money to. Some banks do not process transfer during weekends or bank holidays, so we'll send out your money on the next working day. In others, for example, in the UK, transfers are 24 for 7. If you schedule a monthly transfer on the 30th and the upcoming month has less than 40 days, your transfer will be sent on the last day of that month. For example, if you schedule a monthly transfer on 30 January, but February only has 28 days, your transfer will be sent on 28th. How can you add recurring transfers? You can uh, recurring transfers add at the date you selected when you set it up. If you didn't set up and date, you can cancel a feature transfer in manage under the schedule transfer section. When can you cancel um, schedule transfer? You can cancel up transfer up to 2359, the date before your transfer is scheduled. Will you get a guaranteed rate? The short answer is no. Uh, my scheduled transfer fails, failed. You can find all the uh, reasons right up here. I recommend you to pause video and then just simply find the necessary one. So yep, hope this video helped you out. Leave a like, subscribe. Goodbye.